Where? Right in front. Put the camera in. Put the camera in. This young woman, mid 20s, that was pulled very violently from the park and arrested with everyone else. She was kept in this holding center. She began to hyperventilate and fainted and started seizuring on the ground. For that, several minutes. That was, that was multiple minutes. That was four to five minutes, seizuring on the ground, just watched by police, not touched. While everyone yelled that this is a woman seizuring everyone saw and they were there were reports that she had been violently beaten in the park which had led to the trauma that that was induced in the form of a seizure they dragged her from from the ground on the street over onto the curb and let her lay on the curb they did not support her neck or her spine in a way that you're supposed to do when someone is seizuring to prevent them from choking on their tongue or their own blood they did none of those things they let her lay there after another maybe five minutes this is a, this is a ten minutes total then an NYPD medic entered the scene and slowly began to treat her. She, she was not responding to that treatment. She began hyperventilating Body, again. I'm still in the front. I'm so this, at this point, this is maybe second. 15 minutes have go. elapsed. She begins dry heaving. The police are watching her. There's there's more than 20 to 25 police watching this young woman who has just had a seizure. Her back is stiff. This is that uh, is something that happens after you have a seizure, and she is still on the ground. People are began to call an ambulance. And then she got up and they were trying to give her air, and she fainted. The opposite of what you do when someone is fainting and hyperventilating, um, by like having many people hoard over, many of which are not qualified trained medical professionals, they've actually it created an environment, it exacerbates the situation. She's laid on the ground in the same position since she fainted. Stefan called the ambulance, and hopefully that's the ambulance that came. And I tried to call, I called 911, I tried to get in touch with EMS. I'm surprised they didn't already know about this. It seemed like from the operator that they weren't told, which makes me suspicious of if the police were actually um, communicating. I saw her being dragged over there. Her skirt was way above her, um, her bottom. They were dragging her over here. Last thing I know, there's a seizure. I ran to get one of our medics, Captain, who's been our medic since like day one here. I brought him here. He's still there debating with the cop because they won't let him to her. So they waited till I don't know how long the fire department here. Very, too long, 10 and minutes at least. She's still convulsing. This is a trained street medic, someone who could have dealt with the situation, and they didn't let them pass pushing you back and then I had six people I had three or four people step on me and then six people fell on top of me I got hit twice in the head with a baton and then pulled my hair back for some reason I guess to try to get me up because that's an effective way of doing that um, and then hit me twice in the back again and then when I finally had the chance to actually yell press 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 they shoved me again and I was propelled forward and then fell a couple more times <laughs> because they just kept pushing me so I'm hoping none of my equipment in my bag is destroyed, but I guess I'll find that out later. I come by after work about 10:30. The park's full. You know, six-month anniversary of Occupy Wall Street. Celebratory mood, and then uh, all of a sudden the cops come in. Not only do they clear the park, but then we couldn't even stand on the sidewalk. They're saying, "Get out of the park." We're like, "We are out of the park." Where, where does the park end? Then they push us across the street. 
Then we're across the street. Then they start pushing us off a block. We're a block away. I'm literally a block away. I'm just, I'm eating something. And all of a sudden, I, I have a baton in my back, and this cop is pushing me repeatedly, like hitting me in my, my kidneys. I'm like, my hands are up. I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, I'm a block away from the park that you're clearing. Why am I getting hit in my kidneys?